I'm always amazed when I see those machine movements and how people handle them. It's Christian from Vision 6D and I'm going to look at you and that project um, which is the construction of the new beach in Geneva. And this new beach started from a political ID in 28. And then it went on and in 2013 it was blocked by the environmentalists. So they had to adapt the project, change certain things, and in 2016 it was politically approved. Since then the project is on, there were many phases. In 2019 the people from Geneva could go a bit to, to the beach and enjoy, although it wasn't finished. It was planned to be really finished in 2020, but then the pandemic of the coronavirus came and this delayed the project again. Nowadays, people can now go and enjoy that beach. So, as you see, a lot of projects, they are constructed and built with phase. The more complex the project is, the more phases you have. I created here a project that I conceived with four different phases that I named phase one to phase four. This is in MS project. What I will do now, so each phase is in fact a task, and I will simply say by going here up, and I will set this as it is fixed here, I will ident those tasks. Like that, we can see that project is composed of the four phases we have here. A simple project could be composed of a single phase, but it, in our case, we take four phases. So of course, that in each phase, we have to do something. So I insert a task here that I will name do something. For example, it could be a feasibility study. Each phase in a project is unique in what it contains and what it does. So, but for all of them, we will have to do something. So I will simply copy that task and insert the do something. Do something, the feasibility study, for example, in phase one, is part of phase one. So I will now unident those elements. Now we see that in each phase we have to do something and here I will say that it will last three months. To make it simple, I say the same for all those do something, although in reality it will never be the, the case. At the end of each phase, we'll have what we call a phase review. For this, I insert a task that I name phase review. The phase review is when the project manager meets the stakeholders and they will go back and look at the results of the phase. Depending on the result, they will decide whether to move on and give the go for the next phase or stop the project. In the phase one, when it was the feasibility study, it showed that it was really possible and really appreciated by the population to create a new beach in Geneva. So to pass from any phase to the next one, there will always be that gate, which is the phase review. So I will insert also phase review for the other phases. So all my phases have now their phase review. In order to start phase two, we need to go first to phase review of the phase one. And during the phase review, we get the OK for starting the next phase. I will show this by saying that the predecessor of phase two is the phase review of phase one. 
And one thing that I have also to mark, it's that phase one happens. Once we are done, we do something in phase one. That is to say, once our feasibility study is done, we can do the phase review. So this, I show it here also. And now we start to have here the first phase. The phase review, which you see, is the gate to go to the phase two. Of course, you understand now that once you've done what you have to do in phase two, you will review phase two. And for this, you indicate it here with that predecessor. And you go through the review. If everything is OK, you give the OK to go to phase three or you stop the, the phase three. In our case, we'll admit that everything went OK. So we are simply saying here that to start to do something, we need to have uh, the preceding phase review as predecessor. So and we start to see here that slowly we have our phases taking shape. I think you, you understand how it goes and what you have to do now for phase four. We have now all our phases that we see really well here. And what I would like to, to do now is to add those phases to the timeline. For this, it's simple. I select the phase, right click, and go to add to the timeline. I will also do here for the second phase. For this, I'll do it in a different way. You see that I open the information and I can go here inside and ask to display it on the timeline. For the third one, I will directly go into the Gantt chart and here simply with the right click go into add to the timeline. And I will do the same for the fourth phase. Like that, we have in the timeline here up all our four phases. I will remove the ribbon. And now I will also change the, the color that we have a better view of all that. Now we really have the timeline with our four different phases. Oh, I see that something went wrong here. I have do something inside instead of the phase, which is normal, which is normal because I selected them directly here inside. Maybe quickly remove them from the timeline. remove from the, the timeline and I go here and I add also them to the timeline. Timeline and here I change the color. So in the case of our project uh, of the beach in uh, Geneva, there was a first phase which was quite the political phase. I'm changing the phase names like that. It will resemble more the reality. The second phase was the phase of the oppositions. The third one was the phase when tenders were required. And phase four was the construction. Like that, we, we see that we have the representation of the four phases, political oppositions with removal of oppositions to go ahead into the tender phase. And the last one, which is the real construction phase. Of course, the durations, they do not reflect the reality. But uh, at least you, you understand the general principle on phases for Proto. There will be a following video that goes really more in depth into how we build 
with MS Project each phases in a really detailed level. So I encourage you to watch that video. In the meantime, you like the video, so thumb up. Uh, you can also subscribe to the channel and please do it. This really helps the, the channel. Comments and remarks are really welcome. So hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.